what is up Duffer gang so welcome to another video and today I'm going to talk to you guys about fragrances uh, how to buy the best fragrance for your body and how to wear it so let's get started <laughs> Let me start by sharing with you guys what I wear. Uh, my personal favorite, which is my signature scent, is the Doshi, or rather, is the one by Doshi and Gabbana. It comes, this one is the EDP, it comes in a 50ml bottle or 1.6 fluid ounces. And I have the 212 VIP by Carolina Herrera. It's 100 ml uh, EDT and I also have the Mont Blanc for when I'm not feeling the others uh, legend it comes in a 100 ml bottle as well it's an EDT and perhaps I should share with you guys the differences sorry here's it it's, it's here right here the Mont Blanc the focus First, I'd like to share with you guys the differences between this three terms. Uh, there's EDC, EDP, and EDT. Basically, these terms uh, distinguish between the concentration of perfumed oils or perfume essence in each bottle. We can start with the, the least one, which is the EDC. I don't have any cologne in EDC, which is Eau de Cologne. I'm not saying it right, I don't know. So EDC has the least amount of perfume oil, which means it lasts the shortest time. It's between like an hour, two hours. Next, followed by the EDT, which is the eau de toilette. It's the most common, which most of you guys probably have if you're checking your wardrobe, it will probably be an EDT. This one lasts for about four to six hours, uh, depending on the strength also, because different brands tend to have different strengths. Then later on comes the EDP, which I actually have here. This is an EDP. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana make them both in EDT and EDP. So EDP stands for Eau de Parfum, and it has the not the most, but it has, okay, between the EDC and EDT, Eau de Parfum has the most concentration of perfume oils, and you'll find that it lasts anywhere up to 9, 10 hours a day. So between uh, EDT and EDP, of course, EDP is more expensive than EDT, and I think that's why they usually package it in 50 ml bottles. Uh, and I advise you to when you're buying something new don't go all out and buy the big bottle just buy a small bottle then test it out see how it smells on you another thing that I cannot stress enough is when you're going to buy it test it out for yourself don't just buy it according to what other people have recommended for you just see how it smells on you because they have a slightly different smell uh, depending on the person who's wearing it you know it may not complement or go well with your skin as it might on another person so make the decision for yourself so when it comes to wearing your perfume or your cologne uh, apply directly onto your skin immediately after getting out of the shower I see a lot of people actually uh, put it on their clothes and that's bad because perfumes contain oils and they may damage your fabric so please apply it directly onto your skin you may apply it on your neck but it depends if you're freshly shaven applying it on your neck may aggravate your skin and cause a rash so apply it over here right under the ear those are the hot spots or on your wrists or both depending on how much you want to smell another point you should note is that if you can actually smell it on you it's probably too much so try just applying a subtle amount then see how it goes by the day then you can adjust the amount as your body requires so that is all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys will make informed choices when buying cologne for yourselves. So peace out.